Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install WooCommerce Refund Management plugin. The name of the plugin is Smart Refunder for WooCommerce. This plugin is available on the official WooCommerce website and the price of this plugin is only $79 per year for a single website. Using this plugin, you can manage the refund request on your WooCommerce store. Customers will also be able to request a full or partial refund from My Account section. Customers can get instant refunds if the store owners opt in and the payment gateway supports it. Store owners will see the refund request in the WooCommerce and they can process the refund manually or they can also go for instant refunds. If you are using Smart Coupons plugin, then you can create store credits so that the user will get credits on their next purchase. So in this video, I'm going to install this plugin and I'll show you how you can manage the refund request using Smart Refunder for WooCommerce plugin. So let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo WooCommerce website and I'm going to install the plugin. I have already downloaded the plugin and I have it saved on the computer. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Click on upload plugin. Select the plugin file and click on install now. Click on activate plugin. The plugin is installed and it is activated. You can go to settings from here or you can go to WooCommerce, then go to settings. Go to smart refunder. You will see a tab added at the top. Click on it. And these are the basic settings of this plugin. Allow refund request on order status is completed. Processing on hold, pending payment, cancelled, failed or draft. So you can select the status of the order for which you want to allow the customer to request the refund. So the refund request button will appear on orders having these statuses only. So currently it is set to completed. So only the completed orders will have this option to ask for the refund request. Next option is auto approve refunds having order statuses. You can select on hold or you can also select let's say in pending payment. So that means automatically approve all refund requests submitted by the customer immediately. Keep empty to disable auto approval. Next is offer coupons. Offer coupons as credit note for refund and let customer choose what they want. If this option is enabled, then you can offer coupons as a credit note. If I uncheck it, you will see that option is gone. If I check it, you will see select coupon type to refund, fixed cart discount. To use this feature, you will need to install WooCommerce Smart Coupons plugin. A refund period will be 30 days. Customer can request a refund within these many days from the order completion date. So let's save the changes. So these are the pretty basic settings. There are not too many settings. Now I'm going to place an order as a customer here. I'm logged into the same website as a customer and I'm going to make a purchase as a customer. Let's go to this section and uh, let's buy one product here. Let's say this one, add to cart. And uh, let's go to checkout. And I'm going to make a purchase. This is a demo WooCommerce website and I have only one payment gateway that is cash on delivery. In your case, you may have online payment gateways such as PayPal or Stripe installed. So I'm going to click on place order and the order is successfully placed. Let's go to my account. Let's go to orders. And uh, This is the new order 150 rupees is the price of this order. And these are the details. Now let's go to the admin dashboard and uh, let's go to orders. You will see a new order is there. That is for the 150 rupees. Now you can see that I do not have an option to ask for the refund request. Right now I'll go to the order here. Click on the order and you will see the status of this order is processing. I'm going to make it completed and click on update. All right, so the status of this order is completed. Now let's go back to the customer's account and refresh it. And as soon as I mark the order as completed, you will see this option is added on the My Account page, Request Refund. If I go to this order, you will see the order details and Refund Request option is there. I'm going to click on it 
and you will see a pop-up refund request for this order and these are the options i would like to get my money back or credit note for future purchase and how much amount you want as a refund full amount or partial amount i'm going to make it partial amount let's say 100 so out of 150 i have asked for the partial refund of 100 and let's add a reason for the refund request let's say product is not good and click on send my request it says refund request submitted successfully click ok and you will see that the order was placed on this date and is currently refund requested so this is the status of the order if i go to orders you will see this is the status refund requested now let's go to admins dashboard and go to orders and you will see the status of this order is refund requested and the admin will also receive an email that the customer has requested for the refund of 100 you will see the details here original price is 150 and the re refund is requested for hundred dollars only so let's go back and let's go to order here and you will see the status here and refund requested so I'm going to click on refund. Let's select the quantity here. That is one and 150 is the original price. And the amount that you want to refund is now 100. So instead of 150, I'm going to approve $100 as a refund. Click on refund dollar hundred manually. You will need to manually issue a refund through your payment gateway after using this. All right, so I'm going to click on refund click OK all right now it says refunded hundred dollar if I go to orders again you will see refund requested it shows and if I go to status it is still refund requested so I'm going to make it refunded I have paid the customer manually and now I want to mark it as refunded so I have changed the status to refunded click on update so the refund is done now let's go back to customers dashboard refresh it and it shows it is refunded if i go to view you will see the status is order is refunded so the customer will be able to request a refund on the orders which are marked as completed now i go to order again and i'm going to add a note for the customer so this is the note the order has been refunded successfully and this is the note to the customer click on add and let's go back to customer's dashboard go to order and you will see the note here the order has been refunded successfully so it is very easy to manage a refund request in a woocommerce website using the smart refunder for woocommerce plugin this plugin is available on the official woocommerce website if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.